Welcome to the weekly social, all things Katie Fulcher, uh, Richmond, uh, Texas. We got some great guests here today. We have Isis Torres yes. with Why Not Beauty, and yes. we have a couple of uh, her friends as well. Clients, so. <laughs> can I say? Clients, <laughs> okay. Uh, but you know, thank you for coming out today. I um, greatly appreciate it. It's very nice to meet you guys. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your business and what you guys uh, offer? Of course, so we are almost like a one-stop beauty club. Uh, we represent, and uh, we're trying to bring back, I guess, the beauty. There's nothing to do with the inner beauty. Everything has to be in the outside. Because nowadays, everybody tries to communicate better. Um, most people are working from home, and everything is, you know, in a Zoom. Okay, this is your presentation. AI. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is your presentation. With the green screen, right. <laughs> you can change everything. You can add, you can change your lips, you can change your shape, you can change everything. But one of the things the most important is, is when you actually go to a place and you present yourself. How people see you is how people treat you. And In it may, real estate, yes. we get business cards and photos, uh, and I'm like, that had to be 20 years ago when I made them. <laughs> right? Exactly, okay. And the understanding that and making sure that you know what the color fits you, haircuts, hairstyle, how to style your hair, how to present your eyes to make it look brighter or smaller. And we as women portray ourselves sometimes different to the men, of course. But uh, in reality, you see, right now, men are spending more money in beauty than women. Manscaping is what they call that, right? Of course, of course. And it's nothing to do with preference, it's nothing to do, it's just that nowadays being uh, clean, looking, presentable, mm -hmm. it actually opens an opportunity for people to approach you. Because it doesn't matter how much education do you have. If you go to an interview and it's three candidates, the first person they're going to be colored is the one that looks sharp, they look clean, professional. And he's going to have the opportunity for people to listen to it. Doesn't matter what, if you have less experience of the other one, at least you have a shot because of what people are looking at it. And that's the society mm -hmm. that we live in. I would agree. I've been in sales my entire life. I've been in businesses for over three decades. Um, and I used to do stuff with the sales guys and train them. Um, you know, people with facial hair. Not that I had anything against facial hair. Mm -hmm. However, if somebody walks into the store and you have a clean cut person standing here and somebody with a beard and mustache standing here, they automatically be, make a beeline to the clean cut person. Exactly. So in, just like you said, even this person might even know more than the other person, but that's just how society works. And I love my profession for only one thing. A client sit on a chair, they come from a divorce. They're about to get married. They just want to bury a loved one. It's a baby they just born. They're going to have a baby shower. They go into a graduation. So we in our industry experience every single event in a person's life. Since the moment you are pregnant, to the moment you're going to be pregnant, to the moment you have the baby, to the moment they go to school, A grade dances, high schools, a homecoming in America, <laughs> um, from the uh, getting engaged to the wedding. And we experience generations that pass to our chair from the mother to they become a mother. And that is so rewarding for us. But in the moment that you sit on the chair and you have a conversation with them, you understand their habits, their um, the daily day routine, and you create a look for them. And when you finish, and you turn them back to the mirrors, and they just they smile and they say, "I love her, I see." <laughs> and I say, "Yes, you look great." That moment of gratification and satisfaction. Right nowadays, with technology and everything, I cannot achieve it in any other profession. You have quite a passion for this. Can I ask I you? I do. <laughs> what attracted you to doing this? Oh. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and how did that happen? <laughs> oh my gosh! Since I've been a little kid, I literally since I was like since seven. Since I went to school, yeah. Since I was like seven years old, I have wanted colored hair. I have wanted to cut my hair. I wanted to be blonde. I wanted to have purple hair. I wanted to have blue hair. I wanted to experiment in every which way with my hair, with beauty, with facials, with nails. So, since all of that is very expensive, <laughs> we don't want, I, I want bleach blonde, but I, it's not like bleach. It's a very different product. But, uh, so she got inspired by my passions and wanted to show me the best way for me to get the best outcomes. Awesome. All of those opportunities. Mm -hmm. 
And even as I grew older, when I wanted injections, because I was in beauty pageants or this or that, she learned how to do it so I could get the best outcomes out of those. Were you guys in local beauty pageants No, here? I was in Venezuela. Okay. What's yeah. awesome. you know, I was in... <laughs> she finished high school, Okay. got into a plane, went back to Venezuela, become Miss Team Venezuela over there, and then come back to the U.S. to go to work. Well, that's exciting. Wow. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. Yeah. 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 And honestly, going over there showed me like the difference in how important it is to know how to do hair. Because I'm a blonde. When you're a blonde, your hair is so much like more susceptible to damage from heat. Even if you just brush your hair wrong, you can completely destroy it. A dirty blonde. <laughs> it lightens in the summer. Exactly. And it gets dark. And it gets dark in the winter. It does. And so um, over there, they burned my hair because they didn't know how to blow dry it. Um, I have a bunch of different chemical cuts from them trying to redo the blonde that my mom gave me. And it was a horrible experience with my hair. With everything else, it's beautiful. But that was just horrifying. Wow. So when I got back, she completely got my hair healthy. And I was just like, been so thankful for it. So, and um, it's important because, you know, when you see a person, you can, you can, almost have an idea what they represent just by the way that you look at them. Okay. And it's what we call a language they have not been spoken. Right? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, on a spoken language. Like Unspoken language, okay. It's when you see somebody and you can actually see, oh my God, that person take care of themselves because they look fit, healthy, and sometimes we have a misconception about it. So working with a line, the guarantee me that my client's hair is going to be in a better condition. Most of my clients are cancer survivors. Oh, wow. Yes. And we had that misconception that is I'm sick or if I'm pregnant or if I'm going to a condition, a illness, I cannot do my color. I cannot promote my color. I don't want to put any chemical on my scalp. So we work with a line that is 97% natural derived, organic certified by the U.S. Okay. Okay. So it's made with wind power on the one group. So we as um, professional in this beauty, because right now I have to I present myself as a, as a licensed institution or as a licensed cosmetologist. The regulation is coming to the U.S. to a point that we went to school to learn how not to transmit diseases from one client to the other one, how to don't cross-contaminate the environment that we work with. Sure. Because it's almost like going to get a surgery. Typically, it's about the same. You sit in a chair, and you're going to have all of the tools committed to you. So, and nowadays, you, we can see beauty done at home. We, I don't have any problem with that, okay? But, it's, as a business person in America, we promote small businesses like everybody else do. So, and if, you, if we deregulate the industry, what we're going to happen is we're going to start getting chemicals that we're not supposed to even inhale, and then applying directly to our skin, our body, our lashes, Okay, I face every day. So working with clients that have a cancer condition and be able for them to sit in our chair and we do the treatment for their scalp, rejuvenation, apply a hair wig because they have to remove, they have to lose all their hair and then fall on their treatment and trying to uh, em make them feel, uh, embrace the beauty again because yes, it's, it's, many people say it's shallow, but for a woman, hair is everything. This is our crown. This is what represents us. So seeing those clients go to the treatment, survive the treatment, and now have beautiful hair, and being on my chair every four weeks, applying color to the roots to color the gray, or to embrace everything um, into their hair structure, I guess. Do so you that, work with MD Anderson? No, we don't. Okay, I don't. No, we don't. Most of like we have a history with clients, okay. and when they get sick, the first person they tell us they tell the condition is us before the husband. Sometimes. Oh wow. <laughs> so they come to the salon, they sit there in the chair, and the first thing we ask, is, except at least me, I ask it, like, what is the best thing that happened to you in this season that I don't see you? You know. I I do a lot of fundraisers. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. Yeah. Um, I just had Larry with the Snowdrop Foundation on. And that's for pediatric cancer. Mm -hmm. So I would love to connect you with him. Oh, if that that's would, your passion. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I just did a blood drive a few months back for MD Anderson. I didn't realize, I, I do blood drives annually, but I didn't realize that with the blood transfusions yes. of the cancer patients, 
and the cancer centers, uh, there's a shortage of lead. Yeah, in the US, oh, oh my God, yes. Yes. only one, I think, we are more than three million people, 300 million people in the world, I mean in the US, sure. I'm sorry. Only 1% of America is on a I believe that. Mm -hmm. We are doing a blood drive with Gulf Coast. We'll be at the Ballard House on Mason Road on March uh, 2nd uh, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, if you would, please come out and support us. Yes. If you guys could too, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, whether you donate it and you can or you can't, just please donate blood because I can tell you at the end of that day, they'll have a driver there. We'll save 55 to 60 people's lives, and all that blood will be used the same day. Yeah. It, it's on yes. the same day. Exactly. Yeah, sad. because there's just such a shortage. It's so sad. And um, she, we have an episode where her, a couple of years ago, before she transformed into the Barbie, she got her uh, tonsil removed. Okay. And uh, during the four, after 14, year, 14 days of the surgery, they opened up again, and she just started having an internal bleeding. Oh, so wow. we rushed to the hospital again, and when we was there, it was so much blood that she lost that they couldn't find her blood type to give her blood transfusion. So after all that happened, um, one of the my main reason for her to become a phlebotomy was actually to make conscience about it. You know, to be able to tell people how important it is to donate your blood. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take and long. Until it affects you, yes. nobody pays mm -hmm. attention to it, mm -hmm. and they all say, "Oh, I'm afraid of needles. I'm blah blah blah." Needles make me cringe too. I just don't look. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it literally is just one second. Like I learned how to draw blood actually, and it's so easy, and it takes five minutes. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not even. It's ridiculous, and it's so important. There's so many people that need it, and it's so sad. <laughs> uh, what is more important is for most women, they are very uh, scared to do this to draw blood, to donate blood, but they're very easy to tell me. I just just. Oh, inject, inject. Just, you know, I don't care what it is, just make me look 10 years younger. Yeah. <laughs> They're afraid here, but yeah, they love it. Remove the crow's feet or whatever. Face. Right. Yes. And, that, line. <laughs> and yes. that's what we do. I'm not trying to reverse age. I don't want to promise you that you come to us and I'm really still. Do you do the injections? Yes, I, okay. do. <laughs> I right. do. I do. I'm learning. So. <laughs> and that is the actual name of the club, is why not? Because. I started doing facials to okay. maintain her beauty when she was little, how to teach her how to, uh, the happy routine to, to make her face look, because she's quite pale and she loves to be on the sun. So it's important for her to protect herself, you know, every time she walks outside. So all I started trying to teach her how to prevent a skin cancer, literally. That's how it wow. started. Okay. Yes, wow. it's crazy. So then, after she was growing up, I was moving on in this scale. <laughs> so now she wanted hair. So then I went to school and became a cosmetologist. And then, you know, as year passed by, my mother had an episode with Chino. <coughs> then she oh. had her face half a paralyzed. And I started to learn injections for the medical field. So all my clients will do the injections with me. And, uh, and their friends will say, oh my God, how are you going, to, how come you going to do your Botox or your toxins with the person that do your hair. And my clients will start telling her, why not? She know me better. She know what I like, what I don't like. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be like this. And she know me. She know my lifestyle. And that's what I think is more important. When we sit with a client, either to do hair or to do injections or even to do a massage, we need to know what is the lifestyle of Relationships. Yes. It's all and about relationships. Exactly. And nowadays, human contact because of AI, because you know, we are Amazon, everybody wants instant gratification, okay? Click and order. Yes, okay? And when that happened, the touch really was lost. During COVID, we are in a Vera Salon established. Um, so we have therapies, we have hand treatments. We actually very in touch with the client when they can come into the salon. And that we have to stop it, because during COVID, we couldn't have that close contact with a client. And nowadays, that's the first thing they ask me, so when the experience, the pure feel is going to come back, when we want to experience again to be actually pampered. A hug is a business nowadays. People actually get paid to hug people. That is what? Oh, yes. Wow. So <laughs> that's a whole business. They'll, they'll come and they'll cuddle you yes. for oh, a wow. certain amount of time. It's a real business. You can actually make Never a phone call and somebody get paid to listen to you. Yes. 
to have an empathy conversation. This is the society that we have become. So having a place for me is so important. The other my clients, male or females, okay, identify Gender. I mean, there's complications. They are goggles yes, and all that today, which... They'll be able to come to a I place. I don't get it. I mean, <laughs> I, and, and that's, maybe I'm old. Well, I am old, but I just, I don't get it. It's nothing to do with being old. I think what is happening nowadays with the age gap from generation to generation, it is only one, one simple reason on my view, my personal opinion, all right? It's about preference. It's about what is important to you. It's about what is important to me. You know? She love hair, she yeah. going to invest on her hair. Or the person love faith, they want to invest on a gym. Somebody love to be super fit, they want to invest. So it's about what is important to you. So the generation nowadays for them what is important is to be connected. And it is amazing. I've been testing it out lately. And the way they communicate with images and with new technology and all that is fascinating. But it comes to a point at the end of the day that you still, when you sick, you want your mother back. You're still human. That's exactly. Right. I, mean, I work from home and I do a lot across social media, but in the same sentence, that's only 50%. Most of what I do is this right here. I'm out meeting people, talking with people, mm -hmm. building relationships, mm -hmm. supporting our community. Mm -hmm. That to me is more fulfilling than hiding behind my keyboard. Exactly. Um, because most people during the recession that we had, because of the illness that we, we all were experienced, we lost focus on ourselves, what was important to us. And trying to get it, like a, when I was growing up, my mother, every single Friday, they have a whole community, they go to the hair salon, and they have their friends, they all go at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, their appointments, and they meet together and they mingle in the beauty salon and they, they don't, they're not friends out of the salon. But when they get there, they all talk, how are you, what it is, everything, because sometimes they depart. So it's like a beauty club that makes once a week. Exactly, you know, <laughs> like a book club, but in a beauty sure. industry. So trying to create that in the place that I decided to call home is the most important for me right now. Because beauty shouldn't be a luxury item. Right. It's a necessity. Being pampered is a necessity. Being listened to is a necessity. Sharing your experience and your knowledge with a person next to you in a chair is a necessity. It is it's called cross-marketing. That's what it is, cross-marketing. I have lawyers, doctors, realtors, uh, students. I have my oldest client is 102 years old. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. My youngest client, she's one, one and a half, Rebecca's daughter. Mm -hmm. She's one and a half, and she, she was coming to the salon she's, she's seen her mother was, since she was inside her mother. So she already know the sound of the blow dryer. When she comes to the salon, she feel like she belongs there. She know where to go to get her hair wash. <laughs> so she cute. know how long it's going to take. And if you do it faster than what she knows, she's like, a, I want something else. <laughs> so, and it is a connection that we have with the community. And that's for us. Is what Where is, is your salon located at so that we can invite these oh, people to yes. come visit? So them? we are located at 6645 South High Road in Katy, Texas. We are in the shopping center with Whole Foods. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So it is, yes. Is that um, over there by Carabas as well? Yes. yes. It's the same shopping center. So the Carabas and the Wells Fargo Bank Whole Foods, and then there was Bright Clips, but they went away, and then there's a nail salon. And then right there is the salon next to okay. the Horizon. Mm -hmm. Great location. Yes. We are. That's a great location. Mm -hmm. So come on out. You can support these ladies and pamper yourself. Yeah. We're an experience. You have to come experience us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think it gets into mental health too today, which yes. is so important. Yeah. Is mental come health. Come on over. Is, uh, I'm going to bring Denise Thomasini in because she's probably more in tune with the ladies stuff <laughs> than I am. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, come on in. Thank you for putting this together today. Yeah. Yes. No, so we are so happy. So we definitely all need this, right? And I think exactly that, that it's a luxury, and it's not. I have to be reminded that this is something we should do for ourselves. 
I tend to get in that mode of just work, 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 yeah. and forget to take time to yeah. pamper ourselves. Because I also think it gets into mental health, which yeah. I think is so important. And you're, you're catering to your customer, which is also providing not only that they look beautiful when they leave, their hair and their, their face and their makeup, um, but also providing they feel good. And it gives them confidence. And so, yeah, because yeah, you never have a better day than when your hair looks good. <laughs> so so low up. Nothing like a fresh there is up. nothing like when your hair looks exactly how you want it to look. Your makeup is exactly how you want it. And the outfit just did so good. You feel like you could literally take on the world. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. awesome. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go right? <laughs> yes. We're all about um, listening to what you need and customizing to what you need. Everybody's right. different, everybody needs something different, so we're really good about, you know, listening to what you need and giving you what it is. Yeah, because we have clients that come to the salon once a week. We have clients that come to the salon twice a week to get their hair shampoo and style because of the job. We have clients that come every four weeks. We have clients that come every six weeks. So we're actually seeing them more often than other people do. And uh, and sometimes they just need like a look, you know, just I see so you want a pet car, they squeeze it for me just to get out of the shower, move it out, and go my day. Because nowadays with the social media, they think when you go to the salon, it's always going to be four to six hours. Mm -hmm. You need to have that amazing main extensions added, all of those crazy things, you know, understand? But the reality is that you are a mom, you are a student. If you're going to move out of your house and going to college, you cannot have a service that's going to cost you to be able to do it like when you was home and your mother was paying. Right. And that's right. very important, right. okay? Because they come in right. and they, when they when they on their mom's <laughs> credit card, Miss Isis, I want my hair done. I want to be, you know, like a California girl. I want my extension to be as long as people can reach, okay? And when they're ready to go to college, they say, Miss Isis, can you please create a look that I want to see you, you know, every every time a semester finished? Or if I can recreate it over there in my budget. And that is what's important today. If you know the beauty is essential for you, and you can customize and have a year plan, you can actually fit it into your expenses and services. And that's what is for us the most important thing. What did you need? How did you want it? And how we can give it to you? How we can make you look? like a million dollars without breaking your body. Right. So it's it's really the hair, all the different yes. options for hair, because I need the extensions, oh, so I need more hair. Uh, and as you get older, right, your hair. Yes. I it's a thing, yes. I already have thin my hair. And so that, I'm fascinated yes, with so the extensions. Yeah, so, and it's not only that. that. Most people decide to fix the issue and instead of hiding it, what is the reason for it? So we need to analyze your scalp to see why are you feeling early. We have problems that help you. Um, losing hair in America, the hair loss industry, is a multi-billion dollar because the stress costs you to lose hair. You don't have a losing weight too quickly, help you lose. In an amazing way, you want to lose hair. So nowadays in America, it's a boom of people losing weight super fast with injections that they don't need. The only risk there, I want to give my personal opinion in this one because it's very important to me. If you're not obese, if you don't have um, a condition to almost die because of your overweight condition, please do not engage in losing weight dramatically, quickly, because your organ going to fail. And the most important thing after you get these shots, after six months of you taking it, you're going to lose 50% of your hair. Wow. And it happened with injection or when you go on a street diet. Understanding our body, understanding our hair. When I have a client on my chair and she comes, she always comes regularly. And I'm washing her hair, and I don't see too much hair loss. And suddenly she come one day and I wash her hair, and I had a pack of hair on this on the shampoo board. I would ask her, Are everything going on with you? How's your diet? Is everything changed? Because depending on her answer, I'm going to give her my professional opinion. Is it going to be because you change hair, you change color, or because you need, yeah, because you were born on the street, is that need to uh, stimulate your scalp a little bit more? I want to, so Abeda have a system for hair loss that is amazing. 
I had tried so many of them before. My clients love and swear by it because it's like an old remedy for our grandparents. Right, you know, right. it's all of the roots, all of the herbs. It's like a, actually what we're supposed to be drinking in, but we don't do it. Right. But we apply it on our skull and we give cell love. For me, products do a lot, but if you don't give yourself cell love, nothing going to function properly. Right. Okay. So I've always had thin, fine hair all my life. That's just what. That's the good Lord. Yeah, it's um, okay. But yeah, I love, it. I love to eat, so that's not a problem. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, I love life, so, uh, and I enjoy everything. Sometimes um, you just have thin hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's just how it is. So that's where the brain yeah, that's why, extension Yeah, that's why extension for me. me. Yeah. And that's there's every little. kind of extension out there. That's there's the cool. sew-ins, tape-ins, the beads. Um, yeah, and they all come customized for your lifestyle. And that's what is important to have. Okay. Education in our world today is so important. And knowing a client's lifestyle for me is definitely what the best way to go when you do a consultation with a client. Mm -hmm. okay. And we live in Texas. Humidity is a big mm -hmm. factor for us. Right. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, hydrating and doing uh, botanical repair treatment for your hair or getting hydration on your hair at least once a month or at least preparing yourself for the summer and then for the winter because all of these seasons actually affect our hair. Mm -hmm. It's not only just hair. Mm -hmm. We need all this in there so much, right? Yeah. We can all use it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we have bad hair day on the news as part of our forecast. Exactly. I mean, yeah. that, this, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. But with us, you're never going to have a bad hair day. <laughs> <laughs> Some people come twice a week. That's yes. interesting to Because we have membership packages. And then for, yeah, for just for shampoo and study, you just come with us. We take care of you, and then you are ready to conquer the world. And, and then the hair will last. Yes. Stay. It'll last a little bit. I did for a couple of days. Yes. Normally, my, yeah, normally yeah. my guarantee is I, I will guarantee my hair, uh, my blow, <laughs> we call it blow. <laughs> I will guarantee my hair blow or my hair style on you until you get it wet again. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Usually That's how a blowout will it. last me about like three to five days, but that's because I have oily return. If you like dry your hair, it'll last you about a week. I like every single eye mm -hmm. I just have experience with a client. She went to Colorado for two weeks. And when she came back to my chair, when she, when she came back back to, um, to Houston, her, her husband asked her, like, where are you going? He's like, I'm going to go see Isis. And he's like, but your hair, your hair look like it's just gone. And, so, and he was, she was like, yes, that's how good she is. <laughs> and it is, it is not too bright, but we are the best blowing town. <laughs> We're the best blowing town. Yeah, we, we feel pretty confident saying that. <laughs> we are. Okay. Definitely we are. Okay, that's great. Because what happens to me is I wash my hair, style it, and then, but by the second day, we know what happened. It gets crazy and curly. Yeah. We can see it happening. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The so, yeah, if your hair will last yeah. at least three to five days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just okay. depending on like how oily your hair. The, the most important thing is like we don't wash our home or hair properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So coming to the salon and experiencing a hair wash for 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah, that's what it takes for us to wash your hair. Oh. 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. And it's starting the service without pampering to yourself. Okay. Most clients we have shampoo beds. We don't have shampoo beds. So the client is like. Can I stay here longer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, pampering your scalp, giving your massage on your scalp, invigorating the hair circulation to your scalp. That's what it differentiates us from any other places. And then having the adequate, the adequate products to style your hair, and then actually having the techniques to style your hair for what you want, for the day, for the week, for the wedding. Or if you go on a cruise, because we are so famous here for that, it's not for cruises. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, getting your hair ready for a vacation, for a promotion, and you're ready for uh, a new love life, or you know, to say goodbye, and to start a new a wedding. wedding. Yeah. A wedding. Yeah. Um, any type any of wedding. Yeah. 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 Any type of wedding. We've gone through with yeah. our clients. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are relationships that we've built over yeah. the years, and yeah, we've gone through these things, big things with our clients. So oh, it's yeah. really exciting to see. Yeah. That's exciting. We have we have been not taking new clients for a while. Mm -hmm. Because we all went into rough times in our life, sometimes personally, but uh, now we decided to open our doors for new clients. We okay, want to, great. we want to embrace the community, and we want to give 
you guys the opportunity to spend time with us. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's all for women, primarily women. Yeah, well, we, it's whoever yeah. wants to get their hands on it. Yeah. Yeah. She is so good at men's hair. Okay. 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 If you have hair, we take care of it. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Whoever, okay. whatever. Yeah. 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 And we, yes. yeah. and we, have, um, yeah. we have we have spa services. Yeah. Okay. We not only cater to your hair, but to your face. Mm -hmm. We have hair boxes, removal. yeah, we have hair removal services, uh, or obviously, you know, we have the toxins, we have the treatments, uh, more uh, like a med spa services before mm -hmm. surgery going to a doctor. Mm -hmm. We have, yes, okay. we have a variety of services yes. to cater to you, to keep you at least five years older. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. And nails? No. Yeah. Okay. 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 All skin and hair yeah. and Sounds like that's a full time. Yes. And we have champagne. Yeah, we have champagne. Okay. Here we go. That's a full. We have champagne for the ladies and we have bourbon for the guys. There we go. Great. Yes. Almost a one stop shop. Yeah. And right here in Katie. And right here in Katie. Yeah. And, and our clients are selfish. Yeah. You know, our clients are so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> because they said that we are the best kids you can in Katie, and they want to keep us that way. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't want to tell anybody. Oh. Yes, yes, because we are not too many. We are not, we are a, a, a boutique style, mm -hmm. okay. a salon. So we are only four people. And we get crowded. Oh, they believe yes. the attention wants to be less for them. But we don't. We customize mm -hmm. to the clients. Um, most of my clients are professional ladies. So sometimes we open until 11 o'clock at night because they wow. finish work. Yeah. They arrived they work in Houston and they arrived in Cater around 7.30 and if they have the full time service, that's like four hours mm -hmm. they spend with us. So we want them to be able to come from work, stay with us, and not sacrifice the weekend wow. to come to do the hair. Wow. So wow. Yes, we have early, yeah. we early, have early, early appointments. Early yeah. That's we work, huge. We work for early appointments because- We go from like, like five in the morning, six in the morning to like whenever the service needs to be done. Wow. And, and most of my clients they travel a lot, so they're like, yeah, "Isis, I have a flight tomorrow mm -hmm. or next week." Normally they book it. Mm -hmm. I have a flight, hours. and I need to be on the airport by seven o'clock. Can you do my hair at four o'clock? So we actually accommodate because that is our current presentation. You know, you are our clients, and in, June, in the moment that you need us, we're going to be there for you, and that's what is important. Mm -hmm. so so great. Yeah. And you can book us. International too. You can take us to Cancun, <laughs> Pakistan, <laughs> Dubai. Uh, let's see what else. France, wow. um, California, okay. nationally. Okay. <laughs> so you can actually take us with you if you have a special location. Okay, I love that. Yes. Yeah. We do um, on offsite weddings, yeah. graduation. Yeah. yeah. So when you have a special location, oh, we do that. Right. You'll go with us. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. We have a client that she has babies. And sometimes she cannot come to the salon, so the time that her client have the baby have a nap, so one of the assignments go to her house to get her hair done, so she when girls come up, she's already done up to play with them. Oh, that's awesome! Yes. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we almost like a, we have a concierge services. Okay, that's okay. very important. That's that's does always get answered, <laughs> <laughs> yes. regardless of the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, thank you so much. It's I such know, a thank pleasure. you. I'm excited. It's I'm so ready. Much to talk. And all that Richard, uh, yeah, finish up. <laughs> thank you. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Wow, we covered a lot of ground today. Yes. Thank you so much for all the information that you shared with everybody. Um, again, how can they get in touch with you? What's the best way for them to reach out and connect with you? You can call the salon. You can look at the salon online so you can get the number and the, you'll call and someone will pick up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's the phone number? Um, I think just the, yeah, 337-349-9496. And okay. give us the name of the salon one more yes. time. Yes, so it's a salon, it's called Sam Beauty Boutique and the club for you guys is called Why Not? Why not be beautiful? Why not be the best that you can be? Why not just feel fabulous at all times? Thank you for coming out. I'm excited, and we all need it. Please come on out, support these ladies. You're going to have a wonderful experience. And they're right here in Katy. Yes, they are right here. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you all next week. Thanks.